understand how the whole thing works. I don't understand how some people can fall in love a million times in their lives, and other people just fall in love with one person forever, like my mom. When someone has what your mother and father had, I consider that pretty damn lucky. But I hate seeing her miserable. No, I don't want her grieving over my dad the rest of her life. And I hate seeing her alone all the time. And I, I know my dad would want her to be happy. So maybe it's none of my business, but has something happened lately to make her seem so unhappy? Yeah. Me. Well, I know that's wrong. You know, I know your mom a little bit, and to hear her talk about you, you're one of the truly good things in our life right now. So, you and my mom are just friends? Friends, yeah. Well, I know you guys, you know, had a burger a couple times. I just didn't know if maybe you could turn into something else. That's a burger, it's just a burger. <sighs> yeah, I guess it would be kind of strange for you and my mom to get together. Yeah, why is that? Because you're nothing like my dad. You know, he was a poet, a pacifist, he laughed a lot. Not dead. You know, it, you, you're a really great guy, and, and my mom could do a lot worse. Thanks. Wow. Yeah, that didn't come out right. That's not what I meant. That's not how I meant it to sound. What I'm trying to say is I really like you, and my mom, well, she's great, and why am I talking to you about this? Oh, my goodness. Uh, I'm really sorry. Thanks. None of my business. I, I don't know. I just... I've been thinking a lot lately, and I'm kind of in a weird mood, so just pretend that none of that happened, please. Where did you get that, Miles? It fell into my possession. Doesn't matter how. Point is, I know the truth now. I didn't know. I killed Spencer Truman. I, I blocked it out, but... Yeah, but I know I'm going to... He was my best friend. My only real friend. I know. And I plan to pay for what I did. I plan to turn myself in. I was down at the police station when you called to say you're ready to confess everything to John. I was afraid that you would do something crazy like that. That's why I needed to talk to you first. I understand. Confessing to the police is the last thing that you should do. Want to go home? No. I can't go home. I'd just be going out of my mind, staring at the phone, waiting for it to ring, waiting for someone to tell me good news about my sister. Or bad news. Yeah. I know it's hard for you. All this waiting, not being able to help her. Family is the best person I know. Ever since we were little, I try to be like her. I tag along with her and her friends, getting her way when she was getting ready for a date. I should put up with you. Not really. We fought. Sister stuff, you know? We knew how to push each other's buttons. Until now, I always knew that she would be there for me whenever I needed her. But she's gonna, she's gonna get through this. I, I know, I know it. She has to. Oh, Christian, if Todd were to come home, I, I really couldn't tell you, you know, it's just way too many wounds to heal, you know? He probably never get over the fact that you and I were even together. But I can tell you, when we were in Chicago, it was 
There was a moment, a moment where it kind of felt like it did before. It was good times. And I wish I could have made that last, you know. What are you doing? Well, you got me talking about me. And I was one to ask you the question about Angeline. Okay. I'll ask you a question. When Evangeline comes back, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell her how much I love her. And then I never stop loving her. And then I want her in my life. Sometimes you never know how much you love somebody until you almost lose them. Nash, let me speak to her and tell me all, please. Alright. Jessica wants to talk to you. Thank you. 